Is it ever, ever, this was an interesting one, worthwhile to seek treatment for chronic nonspecific pain? Yes. <laughs> well, I think it's worthwhile yeah. to seek treatment for pain, period. Um, I assume this question probably means like use of pain medications, um, but I'm not going to say that that means treatment. So treatment would be seeing a clinician, being evaluated for potential causes of pain, involving the patient, exploring this biopsychosocial model together, coming up with a shared management plan, and moving forward from there. So I would say if a person has pain and they're concerned about it, you should see your medical professional. If it's from training, my caveat would be hopefully they're very familiar with pain science, and unfortunately I don't feel confident that that is the case. I'm not trying to throw shade at the you know, medical establishment, it's just look, I'm in the medical establishment and I know that that's <laughs> the case right now. So I think like our pain and rehab specialist team, those guys uh, are the best in the business and that would be my general recommendation for somebody who's got pain from training and they're like, I, I need some professional help. Yeah. But I think if somebody has pain that concerns them, they're worried about a specific thing. They're like, oh, I have this low back pain, I'm worried it could be cancer. It sounds crazy, to some, but you know that's not an unusual sort of report. It's like, oh yeah, my dad had the same sort of pain and he had cancer, and that, that's why I'm afraid. Um, yeah, seeking uh, treatment because you're going to be evaluated and then treated based on the findings, and then again, you as the complex patient, ideally, uh, that would be a net benefit. I don't know that you need pain medications necessarily, mm -hmm. which I assume is again what this question actually meant. I don't know what it implied. Yeah. When I read the question, I said, I hope I didn't convey the message during my lecture that it's not worth seeking help for yeah. pain related issues, because that's certainly not the case. Yeah, in fact, the opposite. Yeah, it's very common for people to need help. I think that we definitely provided you with information and education to hopefully empower you to self-manage many of your like common routine day-to-day mm -hmm. -day aches and pains type situations. But to the extent that you're dealing with something, a pain related you know, issue that maybe you don't fully know what to do or you've tried what you've learned and you can't make progress, then seeking out some consultation, evaluation, some assistance from somebody you trust would be a fantastic idea. Now, we cannot guarantee what that that person will do, will will offer you, will recommend to you, unless it's somebody from our own rehab team. Uh, you know, I've definitely seen patients who end up seeing a pain specialist or something and you know, bad things end up getting ruled out and they get a prescription for an opioid, that probably wouldn't be the case that I would go with this myself, nor would it be the, the way that our rehab team would go. So we have a resource that we can offer that we trust and recommend without reservation. Um, but if you are struggling with, the, with an issue like this, then seeking help is definitely the way to go. Would yeah. recommend. Would recommend, yes. All right.